Scott Davis returns after his suspension. Uh, Jordandi drops to the bench, and the other change is Slavi, Slavi Smazov come in for Leon Chambers Primrillo. So it's two changes, and here's the team in full. Hugo Subti continues on in goal for the third time. Dan Nick is still away. Uh, Josh Jackman, Dan Bayliss, Matt Lynch, Nathan Mias, Johnny Goddard, Christy Ward, Scott Davis back, Temi Weka, David O'Gona, and Slavi Smazov as the teams emerge onto the pitch here on Rebels Radio. Uh, meanwhile, for Dolph and Dolph are unchanged. So it's uh, Jordan Winter, Jack Smith, Luke Colson, the captain, Max Statham, Elliot Romain, for Mayor Shomerton, Joe Ash Nemhard, uh, Tom, Tom Terrell. Yep, that's right. In fact, Slough have already scored two more goals this season than they did for the entirety of last season. So long throw comes in, and it's headed in already. Slough leads. An early goal is Dan Bayless running away in celebration. Someone got a flick on, and Terrell couldn't keep it out. About a minute into the game, and Slough lead already. More goals at Arbor Park. Can't ask for a better start, and what a welcome return for you, Kiro. <laughs> Just on the uh, topic there of um, you know, an entertaining side that Slough are. Came in this game, launched it long towards the near post, up went Bayliss, and eventually that's Luke Colson to clear it away on the edge of the box. Oh, and they're, they're breaking free here, Dartford. It's one versus one. So I have to be really careful. Scott Davis is back, and he's just done enough. No, he's gone to the floor. Dartford into the box now. One on one with the keeper. And it's 1 1. A fantastic finish as Dartford broke from the Slough throw, and we have an equalizer. After just five minutes, what a start here. Dartford back on terms. And that is Oli Box being credited with a goal. He scored on the weekend, Oli Box, the young man, and he scored tonight as well. It's a really well taken finish. I'm sure Gary will correct me, but I think that was Scott Davis who just slipped having a wall over back in relegation, one off against their relegation rivals, Eastbourne Borough. Well, it's a very mild night here in the National League South. The weather begins to turn. Slough looking to turn their opponents. So Bonner on the left hand side trying to cut in. So skillful of Bonner. He's still got it. He goes down in the box. And Slough have a penalty. Oh, Bonner's been caught by Jordan Winter, I think that is. And Slough have a chance to get back in the lead. Yeah, nothing less than what you would have expected from Old Bonner. Nice twists and turns. Probably got caught on the edge of the box to start with. But was able to carry on his run up against two. Penalty on Bonner. Goddard with a chance to deliver the goods here for Slough. There goes the whistle, there goes Goddard. Oh my goodness, it's saved! Goddard's penalty straight down the throat of the keeper. He taps it over the line, but it counts! It's gone over the line, according to the referee. Bizarre, but it will count. One of, those, one of those ones that hits that little triangular stanchion just behind the post. So while Terrell did very well just to sort of save it low down to his left hand side. A Wecker on the halfway line, it's going to go long. Oweka does go long, goes over the head of Bayliss, comes to Obono near the corner flag. obono has got a man to beat, can he get it in? Obono, brilliant skill by Obono, keeps the ball, gets the cross in, and it, no, I thought we took a deflection, but it didn't. Keeping him at the weekend. Hopefully see some more minutes from him tonight if um, the situation allows. Dartford coming forward again. On the edge of six-yard box, goes out wide to Shomerton. A dangerous winger for Dartford. And Obono comes back to cover him off, back to Statham. Statham curling ball towards the back post. And it's in. Lincoln having their equalizer. I think it's only box again. It is only box. The youngster's got two goals, and it's 2-2 two -two here before the half-hour mark. Lovely instep of the foot from the right-hand side, just curling out. Found box in probably a little bit too much space at the back post. And despite Subter's best efforts, diving out to his right hand side, can only push the ball into the corner of the net. But a brace for Box. Third time to the lead in this game. They've been pegged back twice already. Long throw in by Lynch. Headed down. Mias keeps it alive. Effort from the edge of the box. Took a deflection. And Slough will get the corner. One back at home to Chelmsford. So Hemel one, Chelmsford two. Outswinger by Lynch. In it comes! And a header down. I think that might have up on his head. I might be wrong there, but it goes straight into the keeper's gloves. Take a wicker with the header there. Oh, like apologies. <clears throat> but yeah, comfortable save for Terrell. Knows what the net is, Oweka. Hasn't scored though just since before Christmas. His last goal was that winner, Avely. Keep it alive, Slough. Coming towards the byline. Still going. Ball comes in. Crucial intervention. Right in the six yard box. Defending this long unbeaten record. 
throw it across to Ogbono, he's got lots of space. Ogbono who won the penalty for the second goal, coming forward again. Into the box he goes, Ogbono. Such a tight dribbler, cuts inside onto his right, can't find a way through. It will drop for Lynch, and Lynch, he knows how to hit them from range, but that one had a bit too much behind it. I'm under Baker and Underwood. I wonder what they would make of this 2-2 <laughs> draw so far after 39 minutes. As the ball comes forward for Colson, who's trying to get him behind. Davis comes across and blocks his path. Colson flicks it forward. It's a fantastic ball. Arriving on the scene was a midfielder and he's trying to win it back. So now not clearing their lines. Ball comes inside. So Weka doing the defending. Out here for Shomerton. Shomerton dribbles it into the box. Shomerton ball in. And it's a header. And that is an outstanding save by Hugo Sobti. There's a header. That's flipped towards goal, and they've just managed to avoid it going right in. A chance to put up his name up in lights, as he so loves to do from free kicks. There goes the whistle, Davis looking focused. Low effort, and this goes under the wall, but it's well held by Terrell. He goes short instead. And back to Lynch now, on the touchline, puts the ball in, it's a great ball, bounces in the box. It's loose, and it's special! What a finish! What an extraordinary finish! And Slava back in the lead! Like a bullet from the boot! What a goal! Well, it's um, lovely just inside that area and smashed into that top left corner by Old Bonner. It's with, I think, probably just the top of his left foot. Terrell, no chance there. I think he's probably about 8, 10 yards out, just down that left hand side. Just finding that near post, but unstoppable there from the winger. And just as we said earlier, you know, just that final end product, it's improving as this season goes on. 3-2 uh, also down in that act between Weymouth and Hampton and Richmond. Here comes Slough now coming forward, and it's slipped into the buff of uh, Lynch. Oh, and it's lifted over. Just got a bit too excited there, the midfielder. And he's drummed it over the bar. Ball falls back into Dartford hands. In the centre circle, they come forward. It's Paul Rooney driving at the Slough midfield. He gets out wide. It's going to fall for Colson eventually. Yes, it will come to Colson on the touchline. Jackman holds him off, but inside for Oli Box. Two goals so far tonight. He slips it in the middle, wants it back, Oli Box. Still alive here. And it's going to drop for Box. And Box close, but it's cleared by Slough. On the edge of the six yard box. Stop coming forward again. And it's not a great start to this half for, for Slough. And instead, it will be, well, it will definitely be a Dartford throw. Thrown back on by Tom Clifford and to Colson, who's getting more and more involved in this game. Colson was being watched by Christy Ward, but he finds Ollie Box. 30 yards back from goal, 10 yards from the touchline. Comes back inside now for Smith. Jack Smith on his right boot to Colson. Dartford having all of the ball in the second half. Colson coming inside, fancies his chances. But put a low and soft ball that found the left of Bayliss. Coming forward now, Bonner. Nice exchange of passes. Slough looking good. Back to a Bonner. Here comes Slough into the box. Still loose. And eventually the keeper has to palm it wide. The shot somehow got away from Bonner's boots. Designated corner taker. Lots of shirts to aim for in the box. It's a great cross. It's a decent header as well. I think that's a Weku got a flick on it. <laughs> I've been away for a very long time. Balls are coming in the box from this free kick. It's a good ball, but well cleared by Nemhard. Ball bouncing in the area. Slow keep it alive. And it's now on the edge of the box. Short blocked on the edge of the six-yard box and then slung over. Oh. Pump across into the box. Whistle goes. It's a lovely cross by Colson towards the back post. And that for the second time this evening is an outstanding save by Hugo Sobti. Yeah, nice little in swinging free kick there. And uh, through one on one there. Handball appeals against Dartford defender as Nemhard hits the deck beforehand. Still, they go on though with the defender down. Dartford play on. Oli Box on the left hand side. Clips it forth for Colson making a run down the left. They come forward with speed. Oh, goodness me. It's flung over the bar by Jack Smith who arrived late. That's a big chance for Dartford. Winning positions this season. Haven't been winning all night, but they're still in this game. Slough have the ball. Over on the far side now. They just take it forward with Ogbonna, heading towards the corner flag. He's such a good dribbler. Ogbonna's still going. He goes down the box. The referee blows the whistle, and Ogbonna's booked for simulation. Having won a, a penalty in the first half, Ogbonna now booked for diving. Referee um, Nathan Oakes making up his mind very quickly.
a wicket, but fell nicely to Davis. He was able to hit back to Sopti. Sopti goes long again for Mias. Hasn't been involved too much since scoring in the opening minute, but here he is, Mias breaking into the box. Ball nipped off his toes, and then almost Spazov, well, no, it was Goddard rather, picking up the pieces. Without a goal, but a lot of running around, as Gary says. Chambers Perillon, his last goal, of course, that winner at Plainmore in stoppage time. Here's Bonner on the edge of the box. He switched rings well, brilliant dribbling by Bonner, puts the ball across, goal! And you can hear the groans around the stadium, because the ball flashed across the face of goal, but nobody was there to tap it home. One of the substitutes, but his ball is loose and slapped away by Dan Bayless. Minas looking to get in behind, but Nemhard wins the header. And forward can come, uh, Max Statham. Said his name a lot in the second half. Oh, it's loose. It's dropped from Mias. They've given it away. Dark from Mias has been pulled back. Get into the box. Mias goes. And the referee's going to bring it back. Mias lost the ball. He lost possession. And that is a straight red card from George Nemhard, who was pulling back Nathan Mias after Dark gave away the ball. Mias couldn't quite get his shot away. The referee wasn't having it, though. He's brought play back. And the centre back has been sent off. Yeah, I think it's one of those situations where the referee had tried to play advantage. Um, Rooney had covered round superbly to go in a blocking tackle on Minas to stop the shot going away. <laughs> One heck of a run up from uh, the right fullback position if he is. Yeah, it won't be. It definitely won't be. It will be instead a chance hit well, very well by Goddard. By Chris D. Ward. The Buzeme heads it forward and the Taylor Maloney caught surely by Leon Chambers Brillon. But on go Dartford. Colson takes the ball forward from the centre circle, but he's blocked off by a Buzeme. Has to knock it wide, but there'll be no time left. And Slav have done enough. Another delicious three points to help their campaign to push up the table. And they are getting closer and closer to the playoffs. All the goals came in the first half. The first one was within the first minute. Nathan Minas heading home. <laughs>